Hello, hello, everyone. Hope you're having an excellent day today. I'm doing pretty good. They were doing an Atlanta Brickco store tour. And boy, have we got a bunch of great stuff to show you all today. The store is pretty much as it should be. There's only a few things. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, I like that shirt though. Is that the the white tree of Gondor? Is that what that yeah. is? Got it, in New Zealand. That's cool. Zealand. cool. Good to see you, Joe. Good to see you. Yeah, very, very uh, Lord of the Rings today. I love it. But yeah, we're uh, we've got a pretty much complete store ready to check out, and uh, I'm really happy with the improvements that have happened. So we'll be kind of breaking them down, walking around, checking them all out. It'll be fun. But yeah, thank you guys for joining. Let's see who's here. I saw a bunch of our friends commenting just earlier. We got Nexus is Act, T Valkyrie, Carbo's here, Grumpy J, Rob Claxton, who is a new member. I thought Rob was a member before. Maybe he got gifted membership. But yeah, but good to see a bunch of our friends here. Let's see. Lemur Bricks is here, Biscuit Bricks. Yeah, good to see everybody. Oh, Brick Bomb VA, Morgan, Travertine. Good to see everybody. And uh, the, an early question, kind of just in, in general, was Carbo had a great one. Viking set anyone, yay or nay? So I've already pre-ordered my Viking uh, village set. I'm so excited about it. I thought it was going to be a Target exclusive, but I guess it's not. But yeah, that's uh, either way, I'm glad I was able to get it just straight off lego.com. That's awesome. Michael's here. Good to see you. What's up, Lego peeps and Mark? Grump, grump, grump. David Romain is here. Good to see you, David. Got to show off the new layout. A absolutely, David. That's the That's the purpose of today, I think. And let's see. Was building the new Ghost and the T6 Jedi shuttle over the weekend. Amazing build. Yeah, those sets look really good. It's good to see good Star Wars sets. Um, Gary's here. Metalizer. Good to see everybody. Raid, get your shields ready. Yeah, Grumpy J is going all Viking for this. It's great. But look at this new Harry Potter case. Got a bunch of great build sets. Very nicely organized by theme. You can see what's happening. Look at this Hogwarts Express train depot down here. If you need any Hogwarts trains, old, medium, or new, we've got them in all prices and you know, configurations, so let us know. <laughs> but yeah, Harry Potter section looking great. Uh, actually has enough room to put everything out. So. Viking Village is only 110 It might be 120 or 30 but yeah, it's it's just over $100. It's pretty good. Especially for the next of Vikings. No, Bay Ubricks. No, 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 no. <laughs> Great Awakening Team Denmark is here. Aloha Americanos and others. All the best from Denmark. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Do y'all sell just set boxes? Typically not metalizer. Um, if you're really looking for something crazy, send us an email. We might have something for you. But typically we want to sell you the Lego itself. Oh, hello. How is the space blooming this time of year? It's doing really good for Zoom. We're looking at the new Marvel section, which was formerly the Star Wars section. And we just saw how the Harry Potter section has expanded. So we're looking at some of the sets over there. But yeah, the uh, the new layout is awesome. I think uh, uh, our lug, fellow lug member Mark and uh, Small Paul were able to check it out earlier. But this is the uh, pick a brick tables where it should be. Build a figs the same. Friends and elves are there. But in the middle here, things start to change. You got the t-shirts, poly bags, keychains. Joe's corner, which is now the Lord of the Rings corner. <laughs> as you would expect but this wall is very different you've got a ton of poly bags some cool sets dimensions this long stretch here with this center aisle with a bunch of products on it you got keychain sets looks really cool we've got a bargain bin over here for our as is sets there's actually some good stuff in here look at this the ninjago catamaran Fifty dollars plus thirty-five percent off. Wow. Anyway, Bricky Bobby greeting people as they come in. The counter's been moved over here, so this is where you check out over by where Landon's working diligently. Yeah, and then you can trade your stuff right in here. You even have a couple seats where you can wait and watch Joe or Ed or whoever price it for you. So it's great. But the biggest thing, and this thing that still catches me every single day since it's happened <laughs> is the stairs going down to the basement, which uh, we may even have to take a stroll down there and check it out. But it's it's really cool. It makes it very convenient to get back and forth instead of walking all the way outside the building. I think uh, Bazoom has had a tour of the basement for So yeah, that's, that's what's going on in the store. It's awesome. 
yeah, it's a fantastic, fantastic configuration. It works better for shopping, I think. Was there a ritualistic burning of the Nexa Arch? <laughs> uh, no, unfortunately, they wouldn't let me torch it. They actually just put it in storage. So it's safe for now. But uh, I, I still have my, my lighter ready. So if we visit, can we get a basement tour? You have to ask the manager on duty. But usually you can, actually. Especially if you have like a small group of people that are interested in seeing it. We can take a little tour. You're not allowed to touch anything, but you can definitely see all the ins and outs of uh, behind the scenes and the basement. So. It's safe. It's secret. Yeah, it's it's at an off-site location that I do not know about. So that's all I know. <laughs> Ninjago is pretty much the same uh, because Marvel and DC have moved. Their space is now occupied by some awesome. Mario and Technic, which has its own sections now. It's great to see that. These two themes have been very squashed for a while. Now they have a little room to see all the box art and what's going on. Who's the first one that's going to fall down the stairs? Hopefully no one for Zoom, but yeah, we're, we have a first aid kit and uh, yeah, that's, that's the best we could do. Any new classic Star Wars or Indiana Jones slash Batman? That's a lot of stuff, Ethan. Why, why don't we start with one of those? Let's look at some Star Wars stuff. The Nexa Arch is in that government storage building from Indiana Jones next to the Ark. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you if you saw in the movie when he pushed the Ark of the Covenant into the storage locker, it's like right just, just past it. It's right there. It's perfect. Yeah, it's exactly Morgan. If we drive all the way back from Idaho, can we get a tour of the basement? Oh, uh, yeah, exactly, Michael. That's if you if you stop by the store, you can ask for a tour. And if one of us, in manager level person, is able to give you the walkthrough, that that'll work. So. It's kind of on a case by case basis. It's whoever's here. It right, like so for today's the day after Labor Day, right? It's pretty quiet in the store. You got maybe. Three or four customers, and you got uh, more than that in employees right now. You got what, about four people, five people working here today. So you could definitely get a tour today. But if it's a slammed Sunday afternoon and everybody's busy, we might not be able to get you a tour. That's kind of how it is. So. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars is looking good. It's in its own section back here where the non Lego section used to be. Do y'all have the Lego House Pirate? I don't think we've seen that one yet. It's super cool. I don't know if we've had any pass through the store. I'm pretty sure we don't have one right now. I would I would know about that, I think. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, put some... Uh, Bonda says, I was thinking that too, Presume. Put some uh, sandpaper stair strips down, boys. Yeah, like some grip for the, the stairs. That might be a good idea. Having a little uh, extra precaution. They are the wood isn't slick. It's pretty, you know, stable boards, so it's not like easy to trip. But yes, we would. We, that's actually a good idea. We might have to invest in something like that. Daniel sure looked good running up the stairs this morning with the adventure set. Exactly. So what's funny is he actually did that over in Joe's Nook. Daniel did that video right over there, and there's no stairs there. He was just acting. The stairs are on the other side over there. Skateboard grip tape. Yeah, that would do it. Do you have the giant Harry and Hermione? We sure do, Lemur Bricks. Let's finish up looking at Star Wars. We can head over there and check them out. Make it exciting. Add a fireman's pull to the basement. We legit were going to do that, but it's too easy to hurt your ankles if you're not an expert. So we decided not to just to prevent any problems but man yeah we were so close we are going to be doing a minifigure launch tube that you can send a minifigure from the top upstairs down to the basement because that's where the minifigures are processed so that is gonna that, that's legit happening we're gonna see if we can make sure we don't injure or damage any figures on the way down but yeah just a mom's heart here hello no no worries bonda that's a great great thought we'll try and see if we can improve the the um, mobility and safety of our uh, employees here. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. Peace out and <laughs> great awakening team, Denmark. We'll see you later. Where were we going? We're going to go look at uh, 
Hermione and Harry in giant form. Let's go check them out. Technic or speed champion section. We've got a whole Technic section we can show you off, Middleizer. We'll go check it out. <laughs> I am very clumsy. Oh, no, Connor. I'm sorry to hear that. I can trip on things, too. I have big feet. But, yeah. Oh, there's some big, like, keychain light Harrys. Those are interesting. We also have... Where's the big Harry Potters? Oh, they might be behind me. No, not over here. Do you buy any new sets this weekend, Mark? Well, so I, I bought some online that haven't arrived yet, but I, I pre-ordered the Viking Village. I got the um, a friend set that I'm not going to disclose the name of, but I also bought in the store the Nightmare Ship from Dreams. So that is a really good set. Definitely going to be building that soon. I built the uh, the Pegasus, the um, Nightmare King's mount. That's super cool. So a lot of good stuff. So. I tripped myself and broke my wrist. Oh, no. See, that's, that's unfortunate, Connor. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Well, the stairs aren't steep, so they shouldn't be that dangerous. But I would suggest anti-slip pads. We need the crew to be safe. Exactly. Well, we'll be careful, Pent Up Breaking. Thank you, guys. So, yeah. We got the giant Harry Potter and Hermione. What happened to Ron? Where's giant Ron? Uh, 120 for that. So I think that should still be retail-ish for those. Ooh, dreams. Yes, dream sets are awesome. We only have a couple in stock right now at the store, but I'm hoping we see some more later. Give me a hint on the friend set you bought. Okay, so it has a frozen waterfall. That's that's a pretty big hint if you know what... I think Lemur Bricks probably knows which one I'm talking about now, but... But we did have dreams. Oh, no, here it is. We've got a couple dream sets. Stable of dream creatures. This is a great set. I've got three copies of this one already. No joke. Pieces are awesome. The uh, crocodile car I have not gotten yet. I do like the night hunter. I think he's one of the coolest figures. But I'm not a huge fan of this build. I know some people really like it. So we've got that one too. Those are both retail. So if you want them, we got them. Oh, is that the new friend set that just came out? I did get a new friend set from Lego.com. So that'll be arriving, I'm guessing, in another four or five days. So. Grumpy got my ghost last week, but the box was dented. Oh, no, T-Valkyrie. I've heard that happen sometimes. I once got a Galaxy Explorer and the box is dented. I was a little bit annoyed at that. But for Metalizer, here's the Technic section. We got some big ones like this all-terrain tow truck. Those wheels are so cool. I need some of those wheels. I need those wheels too for projects just because, but they're super cool. I got some medium sized ones here, like the app control transformation vehicle. That's fun. Got a bunch of lighting kits for the Technic vehicles here. Those are all on the website. Igloo Holiday Adventure. You got it, Lemur Bricks. That's the one I got. And it's specifically for those large transparent dome pieces, but I also like everything else about it. But I want to use those dome pieces, not just for an igloo, but for something else. So for a future build project. Rob Claxon says, hit the like button, please do. If you, if you have a, a like to give, go ahead and drop it in there. The bionicle section looking good. Garrett might need to restock a few more masks here. There's some very cool ones, but there's also a few spots empty. I'll get on them. I'll be like, here, here. There's some empty spots in the Bionicle section. What's up, bro? We do need to do a Toe Tuesday at some point today, too. I'll have to go see if he's around. I remember the Ski Slope and Cafe. Yeah, that one's pretty cool, Lemur Bricks. I didn't get that one because it didn't have the pieces I needed, but it's very cool. Hi, all. Sorry, I'm like, no worries, Karen. It's good to see you. Join them whenever you like, and if you don't, if you miss it live, you can always watch it later, too. You can watch these anytime. So, In the Star Wars section, I saw what looked like a UCS Obi-Wan Starfighter. Can you zoom in on it? We can go check it out, Morgan. I don't recall seeing that one, but we'll see what we got. Ooh, a BrickLink order just shipped on my phone, so that's good. I'll check it out. So there's a little one over here. There's an older public fighter right there. 
don't see. It's a regular one there. It was next to a Y wing. Okay, that narrows it down. Hopefully, some X wings down there. There's an X wing. No Y. Well, there's a Y wing. Small one down there. Next to a Y wing. There's an old Republic fighter down there. If you missed the live stream, Daniel doesn't get that. Oh no! Hey, Daniel's actually doing better now. So that's good. He is back, has been back to work for a couple of days. So that's good. He's doing all right. He wasn't feeling good for a while, though, so we're glad he's, he is doing better. Where did it go? Is there a UCS wing? A UCS number one fighter? So, there, yeah, that uh, that that might be it, because that is a Y wing. And that's just a regular one. I don't think it's UCS. So. That's $25. So that was UCS for $25. That'd be pretty crazy. There is a UCS A wing up here. Yeah, if I'm if I'm just doing like one of these quick pans and you see it in the peripheral, it, it would definitely seem like a UCS. No worries. Yeah. If I specifically requested, would Garrett be able to throw together a bulk bionicle? Yeah. So you just you can order it on the website anytime you want, and Garrett will put together a nice package for you. He'll put in a couple of masks, a couple of good pieces, make sure it's a good mix of stuff to build with. He he custom fills every single pound of bionicle. So you get a really good mixture of stuff. So yes. How is that Paradisa section <laughs> looking, Mark? Um, mm, do we have a Paradisa section, Joe? I'm worried we don't have one. Paradisa section? Why you ask about Paradisa? Uh, Carbo wanted to know where it was. I'll restrain myself. <laughs> You'll restrain yourself. <laughs> Daniel! Dude, where's the Paradisa section of the store? Um, <laughs> where it's always been. Where it's always been. Okay. Well. Mixed in with other things. Mixed in. He's looking for Paradisa. Before we rearranged, we did have a few. We had at least one or two, but they might be gone. They had we had some. The, they had been in the Pirates game. <laughs> Carbo's oh. laughing really hard in the chat right now. It's great. Well, no, but now I want to know what happened to them. Maybe they're in City? They're not with Pirates in Castle, I don't think. That's kind of a... A mix. Before we shifted around, now I'm trying to remove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check with city. I don't think we ended up. With I'll check in the city. Uh, before we leave you, Daniel, did you have a message for uh, fans yeah. of Western yeah, over yeah, here? Yeah. We want to talk about. Yeah. Well, we got <laughs> it's good news. It's, it's good, good news. news. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Oh wait, one of them. Might... No, nope, they're both oh, still okay. here. It's good. These are like the two two of the best Western sets they ever made. Right? Yeah. Here's your for classic. Sure. There's your classic town front. You got the bank. You got the general store. Mm -hmm. And you got this great one over here that comes with the TP. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a little bit of an ultimatum for our Western fans that uh, if one of these sets doesn't sell today, I think they relinquish the right to ask for Western sets. Yeah. So if anyone asks for Western sets, I'll be like, you had your chance. <laughs> We're not going to go look at them. Cause... Say, look, there's a built one, too. If you don't like the price of the, this one, there's a sheriff's office. Yep. So, you know. If you're looking for Western sets, there they are. So exactly. If you don't buy them, I don't think you can keep asking for them. I, yeah, okay. So Daniel's ultimatum there for Western yeah. fans. Good to know. We've got a bunch of them. If they're not sold in 24 hours, it's too late. <laughs> oh, it's Lego Red Dead Redemption sets. Exactly. That's exactly what they are, Morgan. I got to go. Bye. Good to see you, Bricks. Let's go see if we can find a Paradisa set. We're on the hunt now. I I uh I can smell it. I can smell it. They're right over here somewhere. We're not. <laughs> no, I have I have another place we could look. We're looking in city right now, but I don't oh there's one hiding right there. That's uh set number four uh, no, six four one four. That looks like the lighthouse. And it's awesome. 198 pieces, beautiful box. What's the price on that one? I can't see the price. Oh, no. It's hidden behind the silly minifig packs. But you should be able to look on the website and find the, the not only the set name, the official one, but also the price for that awesome lighthouse there. There's also a cool old Shell gas station there, too. So there's one Paradisa set so far. We might have another one. Dolphin Point! That's it. That's the one. Carbo must be a big Paradisa fan. 
there, there's another place where they could be. I'm just going to glance at them, make sure, because we did have, I thought we had more than one at one point. But yeah. You got uh, some time twisters over here. Uh, sealed throwbots? That's pretty crazy. Got a extreme team off-roader there with the cool western raised base plate that doesn't have any stud connections. Got a Forma set. Some cool old Lego sets over here. Ah, Brick Mom Base has been, it's been very hot in Virginia lately. Hopefully you get a little rain and it cools off a little for you guys. Gary says, go back to the technic section. How much is the claw structure? Not seeing on the website in the Atlanta store or just Orlando. Oh, that's weird. Class Xerion, is that how Xerion? That's 330. 330. That is a really nice build. I just love those giant tires, those big meaty tires. It's got some power functions too. It's probably boosting the price a little bit. Man, that's a good one though, Gary. 330. Mm hmm. It's been cooling down here finally. Yep. So I think Michael and Bond are up in Idaho. Is that right? Mark, did the store get any Spider Man 2099 in the latest minifigure haul? I don't think so, Nexus. We did get a bunch of Marvel. We probably should go check. My typing is up today. My bad. No worries, Nexus is Zach. I think I got the message. So. Currently 97 degrees. That's pretty warm. That's pretty warm. George has been, like, not too bad lately. Uh, we do not have that one in stock at the moment. Not as bad I'm as it could be. That. Let's go see if Alex is down here. We can ask about Spider-Man 2099. Any old school Star Wars? We had a couple for you, Todd. Good to see you from Facebook. Let's go look and see if we have any Spider-Man 2099s over here. And if the Wi-Fi starts cutting out, let me know. But hopefully we're good. Well, there's all the sword stuff back there that might have been moved over there. Uh, Emmy, do you know if we have any Spider-Man 2099 figures down here? Mm. Not really. I'm not sure if it did. We'd have to like go through those. Things oh, yeah. See. No worries. Well, I know that Landon was putting some out, though, so I might go check with him. Thank you, though. It's only 76. That sounds pretty nice, Michael. That sounds pretty good. And of course, when you factor in the community, it's 107. That's the heat index. Oh my goodness! Yeah. All right, so both items are looking at 1818. Go with cash card today. Well, here's some figures. There's the Superior Spider-Man with the cape. He looks cool. There's a Spider-Man with a black outfit. That's really nice. He's, there's Spider-Man with black and gold. He's ten dollars. There's Spider-Man with printed arms. He's eight. That's a really affordable figure. We got Spider Ham and the Venom Spider Ham. That's pretty wild. Landon, do we have any Spider Man 2099s around here? Some great Marvel things here, though. That's the one from uh, Civil War. I know we have it in the case. Oh. So, oh, no, no, Spider-Man 2099, like um, the, the oh, from the Miguel O'Hara. Anything I don't, I don't remotely styled like that? No, nah, not right now? Not. We might have a custom one, though. Yeah, I'm checking the custom Why one. Why is it so hard to get a Spider-Man 2099? Well, they haven't made a lot of them, um, Nexus. I think it was kind of a rarer figure. They made one. They made one? Yeah, they made one set in 2019, so a few years ago. I'm sure he's probably gone up a little bit since the movie because he's been so popular. We'll go look and see if we have a custom one right now for you. Here's some custom Marvel stuff. Don't see anything yet. Um, there's a Spider-Man 2099, but it's like the comic version. So it's a little bit different. Yeah, we do have a lot of custom Marvel and DC, Star Wars clones. If anyone's looking for these, they are very cool. Bunch of great figures. Oh, he's like 80 on Bricklink? Oh my gosh.
Mark, what do you have in the classic sets? Garrett always does great on Bionicle. The orders keep getting better each time you order. There you go. Ultimate Toe Mater. Oh, Kachow. I know where one is, but uh, I don't think we have one in the store right now, sadly. So, well, Do we have a cars section? Where did the cars stuff end up? Over here? Oh, yeah, right over here. Well, it looks like we got a larger Lightning Queen here for $69.99. So that's pretty cool. And we also have the large uh, Francesco Bernoulli, but not the large Tomator, unfortunately. I remember the, the last time we got one in, you, I think you were here, Kachow, and I wanted to buy it. I'm like, oh, that looks like such a cool set. But then Joe was like, no, I'm buying it, and he got it. But we got a number of figures here from the car series, including Tomator. He's actually somewhat expensive at like almost $30, so... Currently designing a Speed Champions racetrack mock that's 10 feet by 8 feet. Any advice? Wow. Um, uh, yeah, nice and smooth elevation changes. Very slow changes in elevation so that it's not too steep for the cars. But other than that, I mean, I, I don't have much experience building racetracks. That sounds really cool, Metalizer. Any chance Steven will build one of those Western sets for the joy of building? If they're in the right part count, absolutely. And I think that what giving Westerns pretty popular could actually win the poll pretty easily too. All right. Well, we were talking about speed champions, and I don't think we've stopped by them yet for Metalizer. So a number of cool sets down there. I like that dark green bit of lotus. Yeah, it's a lotus. Very cool. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, lotus. That's cool. The dark green suggested it was a lotus. That's nice. Corvettes, Ferraris. Hopefully I can display it at conventions one day. That would be super cool, Metalizer. Yeah, any local show nearby you should be able to sign up for and bring it to. People would love it. Some of those are not speed champion cars, but they're, they're race cars, but they're like creator. You snuck them in here. Is Garrett absent today? Did he go on another haul uh, run with Ed? No, but he was thinking that there, would, there was a possibility there would be another one of those, but I think he is in today. We'll just have to track him down. He's been probably in the basement working on Bionicle stuff since it's kind of quiet up here. If it gets quiet, we find other things to do to keep us occupied. Speed Champion's looking good, though. We got a couple of the box sets over here, too. Got the Too Fast, Too Furious Nissan Skyline. That's a nice set. Got the Lamborghini, the Countach. That's a really good build. The Speed Champion sets have been looking pretty good the past couple of years. And there's more on the way, too. Older Lotus cars are made of fiberglass. That's cool. Probably not safe, but it's it sounds cool. You got the Dodge Challenger. Crack that whip, Mark. <laughs> we all try and keep busy, Grumpy J. It's all good. I don't crack it too too often. I think Joe would do it more than I would, honestly. He's the he's the storefront manager. I'm just the the YouTube guy. Let's see here. Uh, got some glow in the dark speed. Uh, these are mighty micros. No, no, that's that's the uh, Marvel stuff. Tiny turbos. That's the term I'm thinking of. Lego city sets. Let's go look at them, Connor Hoffman. They're actually right over here because we're over in Speed Champions, but. That's, what is this? Special edition police chase. I like that blue mo motorcycle. That's kind of cool. I'll pray. Uh, hey! Hey! What price is this one? $60 for a special edition police chase. Interesting. Got the little classic city car, $14.99. Looks kind of like a Nissan. You got the, ooh, the police lighthouse capture. $30. That seems like a great deal for that. Nice helicopter, lighthouse. It's heavy for its size. Good little build. Is this the egg guy? No, this is somebody else. Police prisoner transport. Clara the criminal. Snake rattler. That's a name. It almost sounds like a wrestler. Duke detain. Uh, $30 for that one, too. Some good prices on these. Oh, the safari off-roader. $40. That's gone up a little bit, probably because of those cool stickers.
jumping through hoops in Florida. Yeah, that's that's the story of our lives in Orlando. Uh, we'll be lucky to open by October. We'll see how it goes. So, might come by Tuesday store this weekend. See the new layout. Absolutely. Well, it's Tuesday today, so next Tuesday it'll it'll still be like this. In fact, it'll probably be even tidier than it is right now. Those are probably excess sets being uh, put in storage because sometimes we put out a few too many. Ooh, there's an Aqua Rangers. How'd that one get over here? It needs to go over in space, I think. It's pretty cool. Got some, uh, what is this, police station? Nice, police training academy. I like that badge build right there. That's pretty fun. That looks like a game show. What is happening over here? <laughs> oh, dear. I'm a Thursday, my bad. No worries, Nexus. Any day you want to stop by, we'll be here. Fire station, looking cool. Yeah, we've got a bunch of city sets. <clears throat> and I think they've recently been organized because they look nice and clean. All nice and blue. Rob Claxton dropping the ad emojis. Ed, 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 ed. Ooh, I like this horse trailer. That's a good set. Anyway, we can be in city all day and still not see all of them, but yeah. Blame Joey. Yeah, it's, it's all Joey's fault. It always has been. Ooh, typewriter. That's a nice set. 250 for the typewriter. Love that sand green color. And the uh, Starry Night. That one is 170. That seems like a bigger set than the typewriter. That's interesting. 2,000 pieces. It has more pieces and is much cheaper. So that's actually a better deal for parts right now. Mark the PR man. <laughs> exactly. Still no Scooby-Doo yet? We can check on it, David. I, I would hope we'd have some Scooby-Doo. But let's go look at the license themes. We haven't checked those out. We'll go see what we got. Ooh, uh, while we're passing back here, you see the big expanded Minecraft section. This has been here for a few weeks now, but it always... It's cool to see when you walk by just a wall of Minecraft. Anything new in Bricklanta? Add any new members or make any new plans? Not yet. We do need to replace the one building for sure. But other than that, there's not too much on the radar for Bricklanta. We might have to do something fun like a festival or a riot. <laughs> Maybe the Chima gang will show up again and cause trouble. We'll see what we need to do to spice up things in the city. Let's see, Scooby-Doo, any Scooby-Doo over here? Don't see any Scooby-Doo, where's Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo, we do, where are you? Oh, there he is. Here's Scooby-Doo. There's Shaggy and Fred and Velma. Daphne isn't here though. She seems to be priced at around 40, but I don't see her. Let's see, not seeing any sets for them though. We do have a couple of the characters, most of the characters I should say, but. Yeah. Burning Man Riot. <laughs> uh, we could do something like that. It could be a concert and a riot. That would be pretty wild. We'll have to see what we can get away with here. We can't be too wild with the city. Otherwise, the kids and families won't like it. So, Indiana Jones minifigure looking sparse. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, we can circle back to that. There's definitely some gaps going on here. And a couple of the characters in here. There's Mutt Williams, some Cairo thugs. Mola Ram, still 55. I'm surprised he hasn't gone up with the rumors, the former rumors of the Temple of Doom set. It's interesting. Got Lego movie figures over here. Got all the monochrome figures if anyone likes to collect those. Lego City No Limits coming out soon. That sounds pretty wild. <laughs> that could be the, the theme for our city. These things get crazy. The Christmas tree's burning. Marcel's getting arrested again. The Sith are taking over. Mothman escapes. <laughs> Actually, you know, if you think about it, even a regular day in the life of our Lego City is pretty wild. I mean, if you think about it, it's... um. It's just kind of chaotic. 
even on a on a peaceful Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> Let's turn on the lights. Make sure they still work. Yep. Here we go. Train comes circling around. Well, we still have about 30 minutes on the stream. All quiet in my part of town. <laughs> Just Morgan taking pictures of cats. He's probably photographed each one a hundred times now. Oh, Fat Daddy Bricks asks about trains. Yeah, if we have any requests, let us know. Still got 30 minutes left on the stream. Except for the meowing. <laughs> exactly. Lots of meowing cats. I need a fig in there. Yeah, you're a member, Carbo. Just, just send us a picture of your sig fig. Classic under, underwear minifig legs from Paradisa. Mustache head, leather jacket, and serving up drinks walking the streets. <laughs> send me a picture, Carbo. I need to make sure I got the right pieces. But yes, we can make that happen. I'll have to change that when I come over. There you go, Nexus. So we got some train tracks down here for you. And some monorail, too, hiding in there. These are all on our website, too. So all these individual train-related pieces and accessories all can be found on there. We've got a couple of train-specific stuff here as well. We've got the Constitution train, the Hogwarts Express, split tracks, train engines, train cars all up here. Train station right there. So they have their own section right above Vogan's desk over here. Yeah, train's looking pretty cool. This is very hazardous for when you have stuff that could fall off, but it does look cool. The new pickle's here. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Going pretty good, new pickle. Hope you're having a good day. It's a nice, easy Tuesday afternoon here at Atlanta Brick Coach. Looking at some cool train stuff. That This TIE Bomber is a fun build. Oh, the TIE Bomber is a fun build? I thought most Star Wars ships were a little bit plain and gray, but maybe I could be misled. We do have some non-Lego stuff still hiding here. We got a, a Halo sword and a Halo UNSC Falcon with landing pad. That's pretty cool. But right above that, we got the classic Lego. We got this cool transport station. Looks like a bunch of different things happening there. Got a big crane and some Studios vampire sets over here, too. Interesting. Lone Ranger. Well, we saw one Lone Ranger set. I don't know if we have any other ones. We can go check here. Logan has his own corner now. Exactly. God, the Mega Flops. Get it, get it away from my eyes. <laughs> so some people love the Halo Mega Construct sets. Um, I think they're cool looking, but I don't think I'd ever own one because I want the pieces to snap together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have any of any of that there, Western? Oh, Tower Team, you, you, unless the sets are sold before the end of the day, we can't ask about those anymore. That's the rules. Let's go see if we can find uh, some, some Lone Ranger here. That's basically Western, but it's technically different. There's a couple Lone Ranger TVs down here, the plastic lining there don't see any other as prince of persia lego movie some indiana jones hiding over there actually that's cool that's the um venice boat chase that's pretty fun and mega blocks as a kid the spaceship would light up lights in the pre-molded cone top like the trans blue pieces they had when that was a wee lad there you go Flounder Collects is in the chat. Good to see you, Flounder. Thanks for joining us. We have 53 people watching. Please like. We need 60, please. Yeah, there you go. Let's get above 50. We need 60 likes. Nine more likes for the next army. Hit the like button. Yeah, everyone's everyone's got the like reminders. We're at 40 minutes. We still got plenty of time, but we got we to gotta do better because last time I was laughing at the end of the stream because I knew we didn't make it to 50. So I will be uh, happier if we get 50 likes. But not bursting out laughing because I'll be wearing my next set armor. What sets are in the clearance bin? There's some cool ones over there, Charles. We can go check, check them out here. Let's go see what we got. Those are 
as is sets. They're online. So if you want to buy them right now, you can. The 35% off, I think, is that only a store exclusive? Yeah. So you have to stop by the store physically and get it. There's some cool ones in here. You got some Ninjago. I think that's a Wonder Woman base. There's a little Slave One. Or um, uh, Boba Fett Starship. Got a Razor Crest hanging out up there. You got a Dolphin Cruiser. That's basically the most iconic Friends set. You got the Hidden Side Bus, which is very iconic as well. So lots of great stuff. There's a Millennium Falcon for $100, as is. Some of those bags look somewhat sealed. That's cool. Batman. Looks like a fire station over here. Oh, no, it's London bus. London bus. There you go. So some crazy stuff. And you can find all those on the website right now. That 35% off, though, is for in-store only. Show all the Harry Potter stuff. just Yeah. Who, who organized that? Was you guys? Yep, that was Landon. There you go. Man, that looks good over there, Landon. Good job. I didn't know Jurassic World. Jurassic World right, looks fire, too. Right, good job. Good job, Austin. You guys are doing great work over here. You don't have your own emojis in the chat yet, but one day. Yeah, maybe I'll get one. One day. We just need a few more members to join. Oliver is here. Hi, all from the UK. Good to see you, Oliver. Thank you for joining us. Does the store have any Baraki minifigures from Bionicle? We used to have those lemur bricks, but I don't think we'd have any out right now. It's probably worth checking on our website, though, because we might have some in the minifigure area downstairs. So. But yeah, I don't think we have any on display right now. We used to. The Bionicle section has shrunk down to one case, and I think the minifigures were reduced. So. Age of Ultron and Civil War sets, please, says Grant. We can go check those out, Grant. Let's see. Age of Ultron. And what was the other thing? Let me look at a book one time. Civil War sets. Civil War sets. Well, there's Avengers Assemble, not Civil War. Black Panther. This is like Iron Man 2. 3, right? There you go. This is a Civil War era set, Black Panther Pursuit. That's a great set. It has the Winter Soldier, Captain America, Black Panther. Three, three great characters there. Avengers. This is the first Avengers era. Loki with the Tesseract, Hawkeye, probably brainwashed. And this is Avengers Age of Ultron, Hawkeye, Hydra Henchman, and the Thor with the Super Jumper. Little a flickable piece of plastic that sends them flying. It actually works pretty well. Shang-Chi, Avengers Endgame, Battle, a couple of the mechs over here, some of the older ones. They've really beefed up the mech design for Star Wars. I'll tell you what, that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there's Thor versus Hulk Arena Clash. That's not uh, Age of Ultron or Winter... Soldier slash Civil War. There's Age of Ultron over here. Avengers Quinjet City Chase. It's pretty cool. Classic Divers. Ooh, Andrew, we should uh, try to hunt down some Classic Divers. Now we had one or two sets over in the city section. Please like, please like. We ha we need just need one more, says Karen. Yes, we do. Just a few more likes. Okay, I will go to the Friday stream and look at the moment I hear you. <laughs> exactly. I'll be sad yet happy that we reached our like goals. Yeah, quite a few Marvel sets, and they're much easier to see now because we got them in this new section. Formerly Star Wars, now Marvel, so that's great. Lots of built sets over here, too. 50 likes? Oh, no, Gary. No. Anyway, Marvel looks great. There's lots of great sets here. Definitely not going over to my studio. Uh, yeah, no, oh, 52 likes? Jesus, Louise, mac and cheese. All right, all right. Well, let's go over there. Uh, let's go check out the, uh, the the Nexo armor here. We'll go put it on. I I'm I'm so happy you guys got your like count up to fifty past fifty. In fact, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Add, what are you, you? Did you did you add your likes in there? Oh yeah, Joe pushed it over the top with his likes. I knew it. I knew it. 
All righty. <clears throat> let me uh, let me put up this tripod here real quick. There you go. All right. There you go. All right. <clears throat> mm. It's been a while since I've had to do this, so it just uh, it's, it, you, you lose track of how to get it on. There you go. Fantastic. Keeps me safe from you know magical attacks and enemies like those dreaded Nexo Nice. Because if you think about it, the Nexo armor is actually the Jestro armor. That means I'm a bad guy. <laughs> if a little kid in a Nexonite costume ran up, he'd probably think I was Jestro's evil, awkward henchman. Mark, get that lady repellent armor on. Exactly. <laughs> wow. No, dude, that thing attracts It's This is a... This is, I, could, I could wear this anywhere. And and they'd just be like, Whoa, falling at my feet. Exactly. What is your top three Lego set in terms of building experience? Rivendell. Ooh, yeah, Rivendell's got to be a good one, right? I liked the blacksmith shop from a few years back. Yeah, that was good. That was a solid build. And then any of the Ninjago City sets. Yeah. Beautiful. Anything with over 2,000 pieces. <laughs> no, the um the latest uh, 90th anniversary castle. Oh, so much fun to build. That was good. That was a really clean build for sure. But yeah, lots of good sets. Oh, I just spotted this one hiding up here. This is the Vader's Tie Advanced, right? Is this one right? So yeah, that's it. I got it right, but no, that's a great set. It's expensive. Yeah, we put that out yesterday. That's sweet. That's awesome. All right, um, some very expensive castle sets. The reason being is they're sealed, sealed castle sets in the original boxes, looking really good. We wouldn't have missed a day if all the members came back to hit that like button. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We definitely have enough members to make it happen. It was just a quiet, uh, quiet Friday last last weekend, and I was cackling as I hit the end stream button, and I knew I wouldn't have to wear the Nexo armor. <laughs> no problem though. We did. Uh, uh, Daniel recently organized all of our building kits here, and they look really good. One of our new ones, Gamer Elf. The legendary game, gamer elf. We wanted to call him Lonk. Because, <laughs> you know, Link, Lonk, it's different. But uh, that was probably kind of copyrighted, so we didn't want to do that. Back, what's the Nexo number today? Yeah, we got it. We got the Nexo armor. I'm wearing it. Trust me, you can scroll back and see if you don't believe me. The Xenomorph is cool. That one is fun. That is a really good one. I think my favorite right now... It, it used to be Demogorgon and Xenomorph, but now... I think Mothman is my favorite kit because that's it's so simple, cool, also pretty affordable. He's twelve dollars, and it's just a classic. He can terrorize any city or village, or he could be in the past or in the future. He fits in almost any situation. Shroomkin's good too, Michael. That's a good one. Oh, woohoo! Go Nexo, go Nexo, go! Oh, Fazum, just just calm down. All right, <laughs> just just don't. Just, no, it's it's fine. It, it's fine. Um, AquaZone looking good here. I do like those giant trans dark green octagon pieces. Those are cool. Harry Potter looking good. And we're just kind of going off the top shelves, the formerly the top shelf. Now it's just the wall. Man, that Magista's Workshop is a beauty. Always wanted that set. Yeah, it's nice. That is a nice one. We've had them in uh, certified or box or like um, built condition. Those that way is the best way to get them. They're a little more affordable. How much for the Aqua Raider set? Uh, you're talking about this one right here. This one is three hundred, and I think the nice box is kind of pushing it over the top. It's got a little scuff right there, but not too bad, and a little stripe down here from some tape. Super cool though. Aqua Raiders three hundred for that one. It's the big Aqua Raiders base with the huge base plate and stuff. We just got in this. We got uh, 11 Curse of the Pharaoh Studio sets sealed. They're all $40 each. But that has a cool glow-in-the-dark skeleton head and an old-school skeleton. 
a trans neon green spider and the very detailed printed mummy figure with some cool tan pieces and old dark gray pieces. So yeah, that's uh I might be getting one of those. We'll see how it goes. Anyway. I mean it's only forty bucks. Only forty dollars. Sealed new. From what is that? Two thousand one? Two. Pretty close, yeah. Rip trans neon green. Yep. Oh man, that's depressing. Do you have any of the new Harry Potter sets? We got a couple of them, Karen. And the yeah, the, the Patronus is probably the newest one that we have. But we got a couple of them. So we'll go check on them here for you. We also have the Quidditch one. The Quidditch? Quidditch -like trunk. Oh, Quidditch trunk. We'll go check it out. We still got about nine minutes left on the stream. Classic Divers. Oh, let's let's uh, check out the, the new Harry Potter. Then we'll go check out Classic Divers as a hunt. We might have one or two of those. So Quidditch trunk, where could they have gone? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sirius is rescue. There's the Hogwarts magical trunk. Maybe that's what they were talking about. Oh no, Quidditch trunk. That's pretty new. Looks pretty cool. And then uh, Expecto Patronum. It's pretty cool, too. You can also build the wolf, although I think the deer is much more well sculpted. It's a pretty cool build. Mark, how much is the Operator's Lobster Strike set? Ooh, let's go look over there. <laughs> Bond is like, holy diver. All right, let's go see if we can find... Town Divers sets. We've had them here in the past. I don't know. That's a construction set. Any divers sets hiding back here? Well, there's one. Certified pre-owned 6556 2499. It's a good divers, little diver set. I don't think we have any of the big ones. There's another one there, 1999. Can't see the set number on that one. Oh no. Six five five five. Oh, there you go. There's a rescue truck there too. Six four three one twenty four ninety nine. It's pretty cool. There's a Atlantis set hiding back there too. Ooh, there's the Tuna Garage, right? Or what is it called here? Hot Rod Club. There you go. Seventy nine ninety nine for that one. Set number six five six one. It's pretty cool. How much for the trunk? Oh, well, go check it out. Do you even wizard, bro? <laughs> uh, let's go check it out here. Bro, it's a stag, not a deer. I mean, it's a deer. Deer is deer. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Uh, how much was the trunk? Let's check the trunk. It should be retail price. I don't, don't think it's retired or um, any extra pricing on that. So sixty seven ninety nine. That's an unusual price on that one, but I want that's going for sixty seven. The uh, sixty four ninety nine for the other trunk. Why is that one a few dollars more? Hmm. Tuna garage. Oh, exactly. Sixty seven ninety nine. Why would they pick sixty seven dollars for the Quidditch trunk? Why not sixty five or seventy? Patronus. Oh, so what is it? Expecto Patronum? Am I not saying it right? Isn't this their spirit animal? Is that what this is? Because if I had a spirit animal, it would be the cookie monster. Yep, all right. Five more minutes in the stream. Ooh. Ahsoka Brickhead, that's cool. Caught my eye very much. Has everyone, everyone been enjoying the Ahsoka show? I haven't seen it yet, but by the presence of two traded in Ahsoka Brickheads, I'm worried that some people didn't like it. <laughs> Is the built set sale over? Um, I think that's still going on. I have to double check with Joe on that one, but it is. Okay, Landon confirms that the built set sale is still in effect. Ahsoka is great. Oh, that's good for Zoom. I take your word for it. Oh, and while we're talking about brickheads, look at these. 
Joe, you you, you didn't buy these yet? I already have them. You already have them? Obviously. Oh, okay. I was just checking because if you didn't have them, I would be like, hey, you don't have all the Lord of the Rings sets, man. I have all the Lord of the Rings. You have all? Oh, okay, okay. I was just messing with you. Thank you very much. Okay, Balrog. Super adorable, yet very terrifying. Aragorn and Arwen. I don't remember those characters, but I mean. Oh my god. <laughs> do you even Lord of the Rings? Do I even Lord of the Rings? Do you even Ahsoka, bro? Yeah, I don't I don't know half this stuff, okay? I'm just oh. I'm making it all up as I go, okay? So I'm just guessing. <laughs> I haven't seen Ahsoka yet. I've seen Lord of the Rings like twice. I should know them. But I don't. I feel so overlooked. Oh, did I miss your comment, Nexus? Where'd you go? Hey. I never got my price for operators. Oh, oh, we were looking for the uh, Stingray ones. You might have to check on the website because I'm not sure where those ended up. They might be in classic space. Bro, Michael said, do you even Lego, bro? <laughs> Lego, bro? I do Lego. Are you sure? I got this big yellow trophy over there that suggests I do. But um, let's go look for classic space and operators here. The one, the big one over there was 300. The big one on the wall. We did cover that. There's one over here. I think that one's 200? 150? No price on that one. I can't see the price. Huh. Let's spin the back. Where, oh, no, the top. Oh, that's 200. 200 for that one back there. Usually a round number for those. So. Have you watched Rebels? I've seen the first season of Rebels. I'm really not a fan of the animation style. It really bothers me. They went from Clone Wars, which is fine, to Rebels, which is not fine. <laughs> I thought your spirit animal would be the hamburger from McDonald's. <laughs> Hamburglar? Yeah, that one too. We've seen it at Atlanta Brick Convention. There you go. It was above the mirror. Above the mirror? Oh, I can go see that about that. Let's see. We'll check on that one for you. And Connor wants to see Lego Winter Village. We'll probably run out of time. You're really we'll stirring see. up people against you today. Uh, oh, really? I mean, come on. This is not Ahsoka. Rebels like that. Well, no, 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 no. I haven't seen Ahsoka, so I can't say anything about that. I don't like Rebels. The reason being is not because of the story content. That's fine. The animation's terrible. I mean, it's bad. They messed up their faces and everything. They look terrible. Lobster Strike. 772. Seven, 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 this one is $80 sealed. So that's a pretty cool set. It has a blue Power Miners slash Rock Raiders crystal there. That's pretty cool. Two of them. Very nice. My spirit animal is a loft cat. There you go. Well, you and Steven were out in an extended lunch. Oh, yes, absolutely. We always like those extended lunches. Bashing Rebels is not allowed. Oh, I'm sorry, Morgan. I'm sorry. Hey, I, I, I think the story in Rebels is probably great. I've only seen the first season. But the animation, it, I, they need to remaster it or something. Because it uh, it's, uh, it's Struggle City over there. I would definitely recommend watching before Ashoka. Yep, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, it's Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm going to have to come up down there and straighten you out. Uh-oh, okay. Well, yeah. we'll uh, have to have a civilized discussion about it later, for sure. Redcoats for Monster. We've run out of time today, Rob Claxton, but thank you guys so much for paying attention. We'll have another one of these happening Friday, so if there's any burning questions, just save them until then. We'll walk around and check it out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. We sure appreciate it. And we'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow morning for the morning bricks. A bunch of uh, sets have released, particularly for the Disney Wish movie that's coming out. So stay tuned for that. We'll have our full fonts and analysis on that.